my name's Ishiraha and I'm passionate about vibration and sound and how it can improve our lives, help us feel happier, healthier, more connected, more in tune with our body, more in tune with nature and each other. So today I really want to share something that's been very present in my life. I'm in Australia right now and it's been raining and it would be easy for me to just get into a place of, oh, it's raining, that's not okay, I really want to go to the beach. But feeling good, I really believe, is a choice. So I want to share today a really quick way how you can shift your energy. So when we feel upset, when we feel down, when we feel depressed, I really believe it's a choice of whether we really want to feel that. And often it's because we don't actually question the thought, is it true? Now, if for any of you who have been checking out Byron Katie, she's awesome. She's got lots of stuff on YouTube. Check out her website as well, the work. And it's really good to question those thoughts because if we buy into it and we feel it's true, then we get depressed and we just think that's our life. So if we don't and we make a different choice, then we can actually shift our energy very quickly, shifting our state. And I want to bring in a quote from the Sufi mystic Hazrat Anyat Khan. And he's a man who, at the turn of the century, we're talking early 1900s, he wrote a beautiful book called The Mysticism of Sound and Music. And he lived 1882 to 1927. And he has this quote, there are two aspects of life. The first, that man is tuned by his surroundings. And the second is that man can tune himself or humanity we can tune ourselves in spite of our surroundings. The latter is the work of the mystic. I would agree with that, but I also feel all of us can be the mystic. In today's evolutionary curve, we are choosing to raise our vibration, choosing to have more love in our life, choosing to be more loving with ourselves, choosing to raise the vibration on the planet and get more conscious. So, if we are having even a bad day, you know, often it's because, um, you know, we are continuing to buy into, um, you know, or we're just experiencing challenging moments. And even in the most bad day, you do have um, glimmers of positivity and beautiful moments where there's something to be grateful for. And sometimes we have forgotten to be grateful and actually see how we are supported, how we are loved, even if it's the smallest thing like someone smiling at you um, in, in the um, store or someone who is just being kind to you in some way. So what I'm going to do is share a quick process of how you can shift your energy and feel great afterwards. And I want to th also talk about grief. So grief you know, rather than trying to sidestep it or spiritually bypass it, I'm really not talking about that either. I am really saying that that is really something to be grateful for. If you're feeling grief, beautiful, that you're actually tuning in with it and that you're giving space to feel those feelings. A lot of people are numbed out to that. So if you're feeling grief, be in that energy. Allow yourself to feel all of it because the sooner you feel it, the sooner you can move through it and past it and get back to feeling great. Okay, so let's send some love to our body. So place one hand on your heart and one hand on your belly. And I want you to take some nice deep breaths into that belly. And if you want, you can be standing for this to shift your energy in a deeper and faster way. And I want you to now start tuning in with your body and feeling where you might be holding tension. <sighs> Maybe it's in your shoulders. I'm feeling it a bit in my shoulders. Feeling it a bit in my belly. So breathing into those places 
and letting out any sighs or sounds. Ah, oh, ah, stretching out the jaw, throat. Ah, oh, just freeing up the body. Often when we clamp down, we're Ah, the energy can't move. If it can't move here, it can't move in our pelvis area and our hips as well. It gets stuck in our body. So breathing in. And letting that body fill with more light. You can visualize color. What's a beautiful color that your body needs right now? Just see what the first color is that comes into your mind. Make it super high vibe so it's transparent. It's it's scintillating with light. It's really glistening and iridescent. And bringing that light, that color, that high vibration into your body. What does it need it most? You may feel your heart needs it. More love. Or your liver needs it. Maybe you've been toxifying your liver a little bit. And it needs a bit of love. Or whether your shoulders, muscle tension in your body. Wherever you feel called to send that love, that vibration, that color. And now I want you to think about a thought that's really been bugging you. What is a thought that you've been running and it's getting stuck in a loop on your head? Say it's, I'm not, there's not enough for me or I'm not good enough. Just start to feel, where is that in your body? You might feel it in your solar plexus or your heart, or it's maybe it's got stuck in your liver, producing anger, resentment, irritability. Or maybe it's lodged in your kidneys, which is where we store fear. Or maybe it's in your spleen, which is just below the rib cage in the center of the body with the pancreas, and that's all about worry. So just noticing where it is, or maybe it's in your Digestive system, difficulty in letting go, processing life, digesting life. And now as you tune in with that part of your body, start to ask, and what is the opposite of this thought? If it's I'm not good enough, I am so worthy, I am so good enough. Or there's more than enough for me, I'm always supported. Or whatever it is, what is the opposite? And start breathing that truth, that light, that love into your body, into this part of your body that you've noticed it's sitting in. And as you breathe out, just let that out breath be a letting go, shedding of a skin, of an old way, old vibration. Ah, letting it go. Giving it a voice, just feeling it, breathing into it. Ah, and letting it go. Continuing to breathe that positive thought into your body. I am so worth it. There is more than enough for me. And see what color that has for your body. Making that color transparent so it's really high vibrational and it's bringing in this gorgeous healing energy. And now as you feel this positive energy shifting in your body, ask your body, and what is the sound that goes with that? Or maybe it's just more size, bringing more energy into the body, letting go deeper. Ah. And is there a movement that your body wants to do to really help that vibration sit in this part of your body? Ah. And you can drop the hands ah. and start moving this vibration. 
Shake it out. As the energy moves through your body, shake it out through your arms and your feet. Stamp your feet, shake your hips. Move it out like you're shedding the skin of old energy. Oh, oh. And breathing in more love, more light, more high vibration, sending it deeper, deeper, deeper into the body. Ah, and continuing to sound, let go. And the sound of this new thought, positive thought, is ah. And now spread that vibration all the way through your body. Where does it need to go first? Maybe it's up into your mind, calming those thoughts. Breathe it up. Ah, and what's the sound your mind makes as it receives this vibration? Ah, 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 ah. And be authentic with that energy, that feeling. Lay lead with your body, not your mind. Where else does it need to travel? Just breathe it all the way through the body. Ah. All the way through the fingertips, out through the fingertips. Ah. Allowing other sounds to come in. Ah. And down your legs. Ah. Stamping it out through the feet. Ah, ah, ah. Now amplify it. You've been sitting at a one to send it all the way up to a hundred. Or however your body wants to make that sound shift through your body, amplifying, strengthening, amplifying, increasing. Ah, every cell activating, every cell filling with this light, every cell filling with this color, this high vibration, this truth of the being of who you are, not buying into any thoughts which are not the truth of who we are. Ah, breathing into that space. Ah, breathing into that expansion. Ha! I'm feeling that love move through your body, noticing what has changed. Maybe you feel more space, more light, more freedom, more energy running through your body. Just noticing. And now I want you to think of three things that you can do today that can help you feel even more loving to yourself. Maybe it's going for a run in the park or maybe it's chanting or speaking to a friend, having a beautiful catch up or maybe it's getting a massage or indeed doing some self massage, tender, gentle, connected, loving massage. What are three things you can do today to help yourself feel more connected to yourself, more loving, so you can be more loving with others, more loving in your choices with your life, and more loving with the earth. So we can all together produce a high vibration. Keep it coming. Please share with your friends, whether it's this video or just sharing with a friend you're going to tea with and they're having a bad day. So I wish you all a loving, joyful, and peaceful day. Have a great one. Please share if you feel inspired. Thank you.